Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. My name is Chris and today we are going to go over uh, our John Deere Gator is behind us and we got it fixed. So today we're going to discuss uh, what happened, what was fixed and how much it costs. So stay tuned for the video guys. Alright, so here is our 2013 John Deere Gator 825i S4. If uh, you have not seen the previous video about it being broken, I will try and leave a card uh, at the top of this uh, clip here right now. So you can go back and watch that one uh, and then come back and watch this one. But uh, basically, uh, the front end had kind of fallen apart on it. It only has 800 hours on it. Or you're just over now. So uh, we've had a lot of issues with this gator and we're pretty disgusted with it. And after it broke the last time, I'll be completely honest with you guys. Um, you know, we're getting kind of fed up here and I called to see about buying a Kubota RTV with the four seats and the dealership that I normally deal with in my area. They have three stores and they'd had none of them available in uh, all of those three stores so even though i am fed up with this gator and all of its issues uh again a lot of those were mentioned in the previous video so i'm not going to go through it again um we ended up uh, keeping it at this point because we don't really have a choice and we got it fixed because we need it so what happened um let's talk about what happened here quick so this was the side, if you remember in the video, that the tire had gone all wonky on. And if we come down here, i do my best here, you can see right there, if I can point to it here, right there, that is uh, a brand new ball joint that's in there. Um, that ha is what went bad. And um, they claim they changed three of them. I don't, it's kind of funny because the bottom one has a fresh looking nut on it. And the other ones don't look like they have fresh nuts on them. So I don't know if they reused the nuts that were there uh, or what, what the situation was. Uh, I do trust the guys. I mean, we work with them in the past, so... I don't see that they would have lied about it, but that one, you can't really tell on camera. It's got a bunch of gold on it, and it looks very dirty, so the other one doesn't. So uh, that's what they did. They changed three of the ball joints in the front, uh, which is very strange to me. When he originally we thought it was going to be about an $800 repair, that was just kind of a rough, rough estimate. Uh, they did have to... the transaxle here in the front i don't know if i can show that to you here there it's down in there you can see it there uh because this is a four-wheel drive the transaxle in the front uh when that tire went boop it pulled the axle out and drained a lot of the transaxle fluid out so they uh, put uh, you know refilled that too but when he called to tell me it was done he said that they only changed three of the four ball joints in the front and um, I kind of questioned that. I'm like, well, why did you only do three? He said, because one of them seems brand new. Now, I've never changed one uh, since we've had it. And I am not aware of one being changed. I was never billed for one. So there's two possibilities here. Uh, one scenario is that uh, when the Gator went back in for uh, its first starter uh, to be replaced, it was still under warranty at that time. And maybe they happened to, the technician happened to notice it was bad uh, and changed it while it was there. And I didn't really know about it because it was under warranty and I didn't get billed for it. Um, so maybe I'm just not remembering, you know, they might have mentioned it in passing, but it wasn't a big deal because I wouldn't have paid for it. So that's scenario one. Scenario two would be that uh, when this gator was built, um, the ball joint, uh, they said, was a little bit different style uh, than the ones that were there. So it's possible maybe that when the Gator was built, there was three of one style put on and one of one style put on in the factory. So 
those are the only two scenarios that I can come up with <laughs> as to why one of them was good and the other three were bad. Now, um, why are they bad already with 800 hours on the machine? Um, the reason that they are bad is because they are not greasable. Even the new ones they put on are not greasable. Um, I guess maybe if you took everything apart, um, one of them did actually kind of show some grease here. I'll see if I can show you that here quick. Um, I don't know if you can see. Oops, sorry. That one there on the top, it does have some grease kind of showing. And, uh, you know, you can't really see. There's a little bit of grease on that one. So I don't know if they kind of grease them when they put them in or if they have a little grease that's... Um, uh, sort of comes, you know, with the with the new piece uh, right out of the box. If they're greased a little bit, I don't know. But there's no grease fittings on any of them, so you cannot keep them greased. So they end up drying out and going bad. Um, so this issue is going to happen again, um, and it's uh, really annoying. Um, they did say they tried to look for some aftermarket ones. They found some, but they weren't clear as to whether they were greasable or not. So. Uh, in the future, if this happens again, I am definitely going to do some more detailed research and see if I can find uh, aftermarket ones that are absolutely greasable. Uh, I don't know if you could tap the drill and tap those and put grease fittings in them or not. I really don't want to deal with that right now. Uh, but uh, if anybody has one of these gators and has greasable ball joints, uh, whether they were aftermarket, factory, whatever, please let me know. Uh, the new ones that I've seen so far have the same exact ball joints in them, uh, like the 2019 and 2020 models. They're using the same crap. Um, you know, personally, I think they just want the stuff to wear out so you get a big bill. So uh, anyway, that's sort of an overview of what happened, what was replaced. And now uh, let's uh, talk about uh, what it costs. Okay, so uh, sorry if there's a shadow here. Here is the bill. So you can see uh, the complaint was transmission, powertrain repairs, ball joint broken, on upper control arm, customer put it back to make it movable, check both sides. And what they did, uh, they changed upper and lower ball joint on right side and just the lower ball joint on the left side. Upper was tight and boot not ripped. And they changed the front diff oil. So there's all the work that was done. Uh, ball joints... Uh, why I guess there's different numbers for the upper and lower. 40 bucks, 78 dollars, high guard labor. So there's the total right there. $584.26 is what we paid. Uh would have been higher if they had to do the other ball joint. Definitely would have been uh, you know, getting closer to the seven hundred dollar mark, maybe a hair over. So that's uh, that's what we paid to get this thing fixed. That's what happened. Um, again, I'm curious to hear from anybody else who has a similar model. Um, it doesn't have to be the S4, all the 825s, you know, I even, I think the 835 is very similar. Um, this just has the extra seat in it. So basically a regular 825, that box would be up here, but the front ends and everything, the motors, everything's all the same. So if anybody has a similar model, uh, I'd be curious to hear about any issues that you have. Uh, things that you've maybe done yourself to correct them, if you've had ball joint starter issues, uh, anything like that uh, in the comments, please let me know down below. Uh, maybe we can start a support group for each other. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so th that wraps up this video. I've rambled on long enough, but just wanted to let everybody know kind of what happened, uh, what it cost and, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, yes, I could have I could have fixed it myself, but it's a really busy time of year right now. And we needed the Gator, and I didn't have the time, so the, they got it in and out pretty quick for me. Like I said, the dealership over there is very good to us. Um, you know, we don't spend a ton of money over there. We buy a Gator every so many years, and that's it. You know, you guys see I don't have John Deere tractors on the farm. I'm not spending thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 over there every year, but they treat us very, very well. Um, so very happy with the dealership. Um, anyway, uh, so that ends this video, guys. Questions, comments down below. Please don't forget the subscribe button, the bell icon, thumbs up on the way out the door. And I sure hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.